So guys, today we're going to be building this disc sander, which is just made all out of scrap wood using the motor and choke on your lathe, or you could use a motor or a drill to build it. And the best thing about this is it's all completely removable in a matter of a couple of seconds, which is fantastic. So you, that way you can go straight back to using your lathe. So uh, let's get into building this, guys. So as I said guys, this is a scrap wood project, so as you can see I have this mad shaped piece of plywood that uh, was from a door that we were making. So I'm making it into a circle, so I just nail a piece of wood to my crosscut sled, and that way it kind of acts as the centre of my circle, so I can just continually turn the circle, and eventually I have a full on circle, it's a pretty cool way of doing it. So I just take all the corners off, and then take all the small corners off and then by the end just do this run it in circle around the blade. And once that's done guys I just need to make a smaller one that can uh, act as the thing that the chuck grabs onto. Alright so I have the two circles and to line them up it's so easy because you use the nail to turn the little circle on the table saw you can actually use that to line up the centers and just pull it in a bit of the way and then using a the drill I'm just going to put probably three screws in I'm just drilling the pilot hole and I'll screw it in take the nail out and that'll be grand for the lathe so then we're just going to construct um, using some chipboard we're just going to construct a three piece thing that I'll put on the lathe, I'll show you now in a second. Alright so as you can see it's fitting in and if we need to we'll be able to true it up with the lathe but it chucks on nicely and what's great about this which means when you have a chuck you can do this if you have a face plate as well but the advantage of doing it with chuck is you can just simply take it off when you're done with it and then pop it back on and just tighten up and it'll always be balanced which is fantastic. So now what we're going to do is we're going to make a little kind of three piece thing so if one piece going like this, one piece going like this, and then one piece going across them, and that'll make the table. And as long as it's 90 degrees too, we'll have a perfect disc sander here. So as you can see guys, here's all our pieces. I actually used four because I didn't have more of this width, so I just used two thinner ones on top, which is the exact same, so it's grand, I don't mind at all. And, but the only thing is, you can see that I'm not getting the most height of it. I do need one in the middle, so that way you get the most surface that you can use. But for now, this will be grand. I'm going to have some more scrap eventually. I'll just put another piece on top of this, and that way it'll be one flat piece as well, so it'll be a bit better. But for now, this is grand, so I'm just going to uh, screw everything together, and uh, then we'll show you in use. Alright, so you could use spray adhesive if you wanted to mount this on. But I just simply used uh, some double stick tape or uh, carpenter's tape. So it sticks on really well. I suggest using a rougher grit. I have 60 grit on here because this would be for rough work. You wouldn't really want to be putting things like 180 grit on it, maybe 120. But uh, yeah, so we're just, I have my little piece down here. So we're just going to put some spray lacquer on it. I know, guys, you're probably shocked when you hear it that I wasn't using boiled linseed oil, but. I thought this would be a bit more hardware and on the chipboard, so I thought it would be a bit better. I'm just going to put some paste wax once I'm done with this. So as you can see guys I've been using it a bit, I just put wax, a bit of wax on the top as well and I just did a piece of wood there so I'm going to try and do this without getting in the way of the camera too much. It works really well I have to say guys, I'm actually really impressed with the results. So guys I just want to say thanks very much for watching, please comment, rate and subscribe. And um, me and Eric Lundberg are planning on doing a like video combination guy, I said it in our video but I think people were more focused on replying to my band so which was great so thanks very much but if we were doing a video together what would you guys like to see maybe like a videos, uh, video on tips or something like that so just uh, tell us below. It'd be easier if it was something we could do kind of talking instead of like a project because it'd be a bit harder. 
Uh, and I hope you like this video guys made it all out of scrap wood and you don't need a lathe to do this you can use even like a motor or something like that or even a drill if you really needed to so um, yeah guys please remember to comment, rate and subscribe and hit a like a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and remember a clean shop is a safe shop thanks for watching